again. We're back at it again. It's the Warrell Lake. And this time we're going to be throwing some swim baits. So I've got Seth from Attic with me. He's got his specialty, which is... Uh, 316 line through. It's a rising sun. It's my favorite swim bait. It's his favorite. And I'm going to start with a small one. I've got a bunch of them here that I'll try, but uh, it's in the afternoon and we're, we're working towards the evening. So I thought I'd try this uh, little one here. It swims real well good. I talked Gary into staying later. You know, he's old and such, but <laughs> talked to him and staying a couple hours later. We've been getting some swim bait fish and hopefully we can stick a couple good ones. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna be throwing these over habitats and, and whatnot and, uh, you know, help you guys, you know, hopefully catch some more swim bait fish. Yeah, we'll try to give you as much instruction as we can. I've got to pull off the bank here just a second. But um, there's a lot of fish uh, right now on this flat. You guys can see that down the shoreline, they've got they've pulled about 10 feet off of this lake. So I've yeah, all noticed, sorts of stuff you can see. Yeah, I noticed as we were going down, there's a lot of fish that are pulling up to spawn, you know. So I thought we would let these sink and uh, we could both explain to you, you know, how we're working them letting them go down and try to catch some fish, you know, doing that. Yeah. Maybe get some, maybe we'll luck into a big one, who knows? You never know, they've been, I mean, it's been good. Right. So we'll so, see. So what we're gonna do is just start out and uh, cast on down. And I'm gonna take the boat out, not far from shore, I'm in 12 feet. I'm seeing a lot of fish on the graph right now. I mean, a lot. So I'm gonna let mine sink down to the bottom. And then uh, I'm going to just reel this in slow. You're covering maybe a little bit of the shallower stuff. Yeah, I like working this pretty quick, especially as that water starts to heat up. Um, I give it a couple stop and goes. And, yeah. And this... uh, get those, some of those females, those pre-spawners that are feeding up, you know, hard before they, they get right. ready to go up and spawn and lay their eggs. Right. And uh, they really like stuff that's high in protein and... Big swim bait, a trout, or yellow bass, or heck, another bass. Yeah, just, you know, just to just to try to catch something on this. Yeah, they're opportunistic, know, so. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let that sink for a while. I'm in 17 feet right now, so I'm seeing most of my fish, 8, 10, 15 feet. So if I get out too deep, I don't see too many. So we'll kind of just try to get them to where they're moving up. You know where the females the, the males have already moved up to what three four five feet yeah so now we're going to try targeting something a little bit bigger and typically they're the farthest in to the to the shore you know as the spawn starts to heat up so those females all you know they won't be far behind but typically they'll be a little bit farther right out on uh you know on the structure or you know anywhere they can have deep water access close and by next weekend what do we got Full moon. Full moon. So it's uh, it's, it's a, on. It's look at that. There is the moon as we speak right now. It's uh, about three quarters. So by next week it'll be full, and uh, that'll be good. Maybe them, them big girls next weekend will probably move be moving up. Right. You know? So I hope I don't hit that duck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pretty that, darn close. That was close. I'm gonna get a little bit shallower. You know, because this bait, yours can sink a little bit better than mine. Yeah. So mine's a little smaller, and you got. I noticed you have a, a nice weight inside, and that thing's going down. But it's got a good action, and I've got uh, this little thing here has got a good uh, action. So, but I'm just gonna work it a little bit slower, and maybe just reel a little bit, and then maybe twitch it a little bit, give it the old brush hog twitch, you know. Right. So. I really don't want to pull out the drop shot or anything like that <laughs> today. Oh, so I, no, we're going like to be swim bait fishing. I like to be swim bait fishing and, and hit this for a few hours, three or four hours, and see what we can catch. Give it a good try. I know you guys, you and a bunch of other guys, I, I talked to Ron Kasner a couple times, and, boy, he, he says that he'll come out here, might be three, four, five days, and not catch a fish. Oh, yeah. And... Um, I've noticed most of the guys you know do the same thing. They'll uh, they'll come out and they'll just swim these swim baits. And, he, and one of the days is going to be the day, and you'll catch it. So you're saying to me, closer to the full moon is better to come Typ out. Typically, it, you know, especially this time of year, what that means is just more, you know, more fish move shallow. 
with okay. that moon. Oh, okay. And uh, that really helps the swim bait bite out, you know, when you're you're working shallow stuff and line throughs and glide baits and you know three piece baits. It's it really helps out with that moon, getting a lot of those bigger fish up shallow. So now, you can capitalize on a. So I'm going to ask female. you a question because I don't I don't throw a lot of swim baits a lot. I mean, it's just probably the only place I do throw them. Yeah. So. Do you think that the morning bite with a swim bait is better, or does it really not matter? Could it be nine o'clock, ten o'clock, noon? You know, you know. I I tell a lot of people this, and a lot of guys that I've thrown swim baits with will say the same thing. But typically, that that eleven to one is the best time. Oh, eleven to one. Eleven to one. Wow. Midday, and I don't know if it's just that those bigger fish or their feeding periods are different than the smaller fish. Uh huh. Um, but it just seems that I catch, and those guys also that have told me, they catch most of their bigger fish between 11 and 1. Now, first light bite is always good. I mean, you've got a chance at some fish that have been there feeding from the night before or move up to feed with a low light, um, you know, able, you know, a chance to capitalize on that stuff. Right. But uh, I'm a big fan of uh, middle of the day and um, that 11 to 1 hour, hour or two hours is uh, it's pretty key. Well, that's cool. Good advice, you know, for some of the, you know, at the Bass Pro Shop when we have our seminars and stuff, we've had you speak a few times, and then we've had a couple other guys speak, and uh, it sure draws a crowd. The people are infatuated with these swim baits you guys throw and how to catch them and stuff, so. Well, what's that, funny is, <laughs> I, get, I get this a lot for some reason, but with the, some of the success that I've been fortunate enough to have, a lot of people think that it's a lot on swim baits. Oh, yeah. And a lot of it's not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I throw them a lot, and I, you know, you know, there's a right bait, of right time for everything, but. Right. So if you come out here and you're out here for two hours and you're throwing chunking these big swim baits and stuff, and you're not catching fish, you'll pick up the rattle trap or crank oh, yeah. baits or yeah. you know, and start chunking those. Make the adjustment and uh, just try to figure the fish out. Right. Right. Yeah. There's days that you can come out here and they're not going to bite. They're not going to bite on a jig you know, days and they might bite on, you know, something else, Carolina rig or something like that, yeah. you know? So I've, uh, I've on this stretch right here, uh -huh. I've had a real good luck with deep diving crankbaits. Yeah. I don't know if you fish this much, but look at all the timber, oh, yeah. the timber in here. My God, I didn't realize there was this much trees. Did you, did you, no. I mean, you don't see this I mean, down. you don't see it with it this you know? far down and you can just, I mean, you can see how many trees will be in. I mean, if you look at where the water level gets, um, you know, high when it gets high. I mean, look at this tree. This tree's going to be in eight to ten feet. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, that's, and, you, and that tree's down. And then there's more in the water here. That and we you can't know see. that those fish are going to be sitting under. We, you know, we were out. Oh yeah. Uh, earlier, and we were looking at the habitat that was out. The the ones with the trees. Yeah. And you ought to have seen the big old crappies we saw here. We saw several crappies that were probably two and a half pounds a piece. But I, oh, I just got slammed. Oh no. All right. That's a good. Well, the water's kind of dirty here, so we can't see any fish following, yeah. you know, at all. So we, we don't kind of know what's. Look at that. She hit it so hard she took the hook out of the bait. Oh, did she? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. I didn't bring my line throughs today. You know, I brought trout baits and, yeah. but I'm gonna throw this little one here cause I've caught fish here on this bait here. So I'm, we're just trying to catch a fish is all I'm trying to do. And I don't care if it's, you know, two pounds or two and a half or three or whatever, but it'd be nice to get a big one, but this got a lot of action when I pull it, you know, see that yeah. thing, how it turns like this? Oh, yeah. For a little bait, it looks like it's a nice, acts like those depths, 250s where you jerk it and it goes, you know, turns around. I notice you make a lot of long casts. I mean, your casts are like a. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta cover people, the strike zone. Yeah, I, I mean, you know. Oh God, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Oh yeah. Let me get down. That's cool. Oh, here he comes, oh, watch oh. out, watch out. Oh, he's just a little guy. Oh, he's not real big. It's about two and a half, three pounds. <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice fish, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, a little guy. That he calls it little, but still, look at that. So he uses a treble hook. See that? 
caught him right on the top of the lip, right, right on where the top. you're supposed to. So. so he came from underneath and came got up. it just how, I mean, nice. it's awesome. That's what I love about these line throughs too. I mean, they cannot throw that thing and the bait just moves. Boy, he got that good too. Look at that, right in the top. Oh yeah. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. Decent cool. little feller. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> All right. I've been trying to make longer cast so I could cover more more territory. So I normally don't cast that, but I can cast this little sucker pretty far. Yeah. Look at that. That's so pretty good. I'm gonna. Not bad. All right. You got one. I've caught him along here on this thing here, so this is a pretty good shoreline. You know, and another wow. <laughs> <laughs> another thing I noticed too. Hardly anybody fishes this shoreline. Oh yeah. I, I don't ever see anybody here. Every time I come out here, I've got this shoreline to myself. Yep. So I can I can throw crankbaits here, I could drop shot, I've got drop shot fish here, but you know, sometimes if you come out on a Saturday or a Friday, my gosh, this place is packed. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna mm. I'm seeing a lot of fish there, so I'm gonna whip this out way out there. You're getting Whoa, better there. Huh? There you go. <laughs> getting better. So I'm just going to let it sink and let it go down and swim it real slow and kind of bounce off the bottom and see if if I can get one. That, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Holy mackerel. Does that, spo <laughs> does that just about spool that? Huh? Uh, no. Got quite really? a few, but that's that's why you get those swim bait reels. You, I mean, you need a lot of line, uh, you know, throwing big baits. A lot of times I like to long line. Oh, did um, oh on yeah. different types of baits or let it sink to 30 40 feet and work certain areas that yeah. way i only have a seven foot rod on here i've got some seven and a halves is that seven or seven that's and eight half? this is an eight footer yeah no wonder you're casting so stinking far i got a seven and a half so this thing goes pretty good for for you know a smaller yeah smaller reel how many swim bait fish have you caught like big like bigger swim baits yeah you know, I caught a, I was messing around. I got a good story, like, you know, hang on a minute. You got one? <laughs> good God. Big? He hit a hard. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how big he is, but. How big is he? But he where's, he, where's he going? He's going out that way. I'd rather have him going out that way than that way. I'm just gonna reel him in nice and easy. She got a catfish? No, he's not turning. He's keeping I, staying I down go, pretty I let, good. I let it go. Oh, oh yeah, that. that's a bass. That's a nice bass. Look at this. There we go. That's a nice one. That is a good one. Oh man, oh, he's got it. Oh my God, look at that. He's got it good. Look he's how many, good. look at all the hooks are in him. What the one just came oh. out, didn't it? Yeah. Oh there. my gosh, look at that. Look at how he ate it. Oh. You know what? We should I get know. a couple pictures. Yeah. Let me grab my camera. My. Oh, you can get a pitch close up of this. That's true, Dave can make us a picture. Look at that. Yep. How cool is that? Look at there. They're not huge, but look how pretty he is. Gorgeous. Man, they are pretty. They're nice and fat. These are, I think these are the ones that the males and stuff and the females that are little females that are Yeah, we're up. just catching some buck bass. We gotta find those females. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Well. Well, we've been casting for quite a while. We decided we're gonna move from that side of the lake to this side, and we're gonna try some of these deep points coming out into the lake, you know. Oh my God, how did he miss that? Yeah. I just put this on. What are you throwing? I, uh, I just bought this. I'll show you guys this little bait I bought. Um, Gizzard Jet, looks just like it. It, uh, I got it, picked it up uh, the other day at the Bass Pro Shop. I forget what I paid for it, like 10 bucks or, no, $8, $8.99. But it's a live target swim bait. So, you know, it's got a big old hook on the top. It's weighted. I can let it sink. So, hey, for $8.99 or I think that's Not what bad. It, not too bad. So, we're, uh, Seth said he likes to fish points, you know, nice big fingers that come out in the lake and he said he's had luck on this one here a number of times on swim baits so we thought we'd come over here and you know fish over the top of them there's fish on the bottom here in 10 foot oh yeah you know so I can let this thing go down too you know hit the bottom and then reel a little bit and then 
let it sink. This one sinks pretty good. That other one I had on this little jobber here, it's heavy, but it doesn't sink a lot. It takes a long time to sink, so, but it swims really good. They call that BC, what is that? BB, BBC? BBZ? BBZ. That's actually true tungsten. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, it is. I remember that when I got that. So. So we're just drifting off the point. Just letting it go down eight, 10 feet, trying oh, to. Did you see that? Did I have a follower? Right here. Oh well, my he, God. he came up and swiped at it. Right at the About boat? About a six pounder. Oh my gosh. You ever do that with your bait when one oh. comes up and does that where you do the, yeah, I mean, you know, do a, a figure eight with your bait? So, sometimes like, you can get on, it's more, you know, when you get a follower on a glide, yeah, on a big glide bait. I mean, typically you can, you know, I say typically, sometimes you can get them to commit. Right. If you can see them following it and twitch it just right and read their personality, then you can get them to commit and right. get a hook. That one just followed it up on this, uh, flatter part right here. Now you said that some days you're out here, like as a, when the water gets more warmer and it gets, the fish get more active, that you can come out and you'll get a lot of followers. Oh some, yeah. Big ones. Oh yeah. I mean, I've you had know. days where it's like, you know, 50, 60, 70 followers. I oh, mean, it's yeah. almost every cast. Yeah. And a lot of times those days are actually not the good days. You know, a lot of times those days are, you know, they're super interested in keyed in because they're, they're so shallow. You know, those fish are moved up with the warmer weather, but they're not necessarily eating. Uh -huh. And they're not necessarily eat, wanting to eat the big bait. But a lot of my better days have been where I don't really see followers, but I'm getting bit and they're eating it really well. I'm noticing a lot of fish here in 23, 24 feet of wa water. Yep. Instead of cast it real far, I think what I'll try doing is that, I got that one pretty close to the boat, that bite. So I'm just gonna let it go to the bottom and just take a chance and just let it swim you can work that one on the bottom it's got that top hook and yeah you know it's it's weighted it really well it won't so. snag with that that much with that swim bait on, i mean a treble hook on the back no it comes through cover pretty well yeah look at the fish here in 23 one feet maybe those are those big ones and i'll be able to right get a bite i'm just kind of you know how sometimes you'll drag a jig under the boat or yeah. i do you know or brush hog or whatever and when i see fish on there so I'm gonna try that, just dragging that under the under the boat. Why don't we get one of those guys to come up on it? You never know, huh? We got a great secondary point coming up right here. Oh yeah, look at that. That comes way out too. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven. This one cove. Secondary points coming into this cove. Wow. Great places for those pre-spawners to. Yeah. Be around. Look Holy at the cow. graph. Look at look at the graph. How many fish are on the graph right now? I'm gonna, oh my God, you got him. Oh, right there, right at the boat. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's decent. I think I stuck him so hard, he's paralyzed. I'm gonna go back <laughs> over that freaking point Little again. guy. Yeah, he is, isn't he? I can't believe that those are hitting that bait, but they will off there. Oh yeah, there. especially those bucks. Got a bunch of buck males up. But those are big old, big old buck males, aren't they? Yeah. But when you stick them with that stupid treble hook, that thing really, you need a pliers? I think I got it. I mean, look at this. You got <laughs> this giant bait. Oh Let's see that for the camera. Yeah. Well, the bait's almost half the size of that fish, if not more. There we go. How big is that fish? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's kicking out wide. Jeez. Oh god, he just bummed off, came off. Are you serious? Yeah. Did he wrap you in that habitat? I was over, I was up at the point where I saw those fish. I just flicked back there, but I don't know what Jeez. I'm caught. No, look, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not caught in any habitat. I'm just letting this go down to the bottom. You know what? Slow roll. No, I'm just bouncing it on the bottom like a drop shot. <laughs> Sometimes like they that. want it like that. Like that. No. Yeah. <laughs> big? This is a live target bait. You know, it's not real big. 
I'm not pulling like the last one. Oh, oh yeah, that's a decent little fish. There you go. Life target, life target gizzard shed, man. Wow. That he looks so pretty. I'm gonna have to get him back in because. Look at that. Look at this. They're chewing Look it, man. Shouting. Yeah. They are chewing it. Isn't that cool? He's not giant, but it beats it beats not like any <laughs> fish at all. <laughs> oh man. Some swim bay fish. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, little guy. Let's release him. Okay, here he goes. Sayonara, sucker. Sayonara. Let's see what he does. There he goes. He's going down. We don't have to needle him. Man, that is so much fun. <laughs> Swim bait bite. I, somebody at the Bass Pro Shop, I think it was Bud, was telling me about these little live target uh, swim baits they got in. Yeah. And he says they were selling a lot of them. We were doing those uh, classics uh, things last week. Yeah. And uh, I said, how much are they? And he goes, they're only like eight ninety nine. I said, that's it. But I mean, it's real, got good it's real soft, yeah. you know, and that tail is like, you know, it's going through the That's water. That's a Huddleston's like, type, you know, style yeah. tail. But for eight ninety nine, Not bad. It's not bad. It swims pretty good. I know it does. Look yeah. at that. Got a little yellow on Catching it. Catching so. fish, too. It does. <laughs> and then, you know, if you lose it, you're not losing the, one of your... Yeah, one of these or something. Of those, yeah. yeah, not one of those other ones, so I could afford to. You know what? Uh, let's, what do you say we call it? I got to get out of here. Yeah. You know. I kept you out a little too long. It's probably past your bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's five minutes to four, and the one on one. It's hard to leave a... when they're when they're biting, though. I mean, it's yeah, hard to leave. I know it is, but um, he can come back again. Oh um, yeah. Um, well, we're going to Apache. Yep. Next week, not to film, but to fish together in a tournament. Should be so, a fun time. Uh, that should be fun. So. Uh, I'm excited. I had a lot of fun with you today. You know? Yeah, me too. And uh, caught some fish. Didn't catch giants like we was hoping to, but we saw them though. We saw them. Man, though. we were within a flip of we two, saw them. two fish over nine pounds. Yeah, we did. I saw two of the biggest fish I've seen in a long, long time, and they were like, "Oh my God!" Seth thinks they're he's caught the nine pounders. You know, I've caught a couple, but they were gigantic. Yeah, they were you know eight, nine, were, eight nine pounds. Yeah, both they were of them. only what five feet deep, four yeah. feet deep, but we just couldn't get them to go. Oh, yeah. I should have dug this out. <laughs> All right. You may have ate that. Hey, you, you never know. know. I know. Well, anyway, thank you very much for coming hey, on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. And it's, it's been a, a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to learn. He's got a lot of exciting information. I hope you guys at home, when you watch these videos and stuff, I try to teach everything I can about, and that's why I'm having guest stars come on the show now, because I want to get these guys that are better at this than I am. You know, I'm not a big swim bait, but guy like you and you'll go out for two or three days and catch one well that's, that's what's so cool about this sport is you know it's there's always something to learn about you know whether you're Kevin Van Dam or whether you're Joe Schmo who likes to go out on the weekends right you know it doesn't matter it's it's so cool that the sport you're always constantly learning because there's no set deal you know you can't come out here and every single day dialing but you can be consistent right and you can ca you know catch more and, and better fish so well I, I saw on Facebook that you had a big fish like two weeks ago right how yeah. big was that one I had a 10 13 10 10 oh. 13 so 13 one hundredths of an ounce so oh, just over my 10 gosh so that was amazing and your dad uh, he caught a big one too like a month or two ago right he had it yeah he had his canyon. personal best at canyon yeah, he can't canyon now, what big, how big was that one uh, that was 11 28 oh my gosh 11 pounders so, so we, we had double digits within a week of each other oh wow yeah it's wow. pretty cool that's pretty neat yeah well, once again, guys, thanks. Uh, you know, I get comments from you all the time. You write in stuff to the show, and, and uh, if I don't answer you, Dave Jones will uh, talk to you or something or direct it to me. But uh, thanks again. We appreciate you watching our shows and stuff, and uh, we're just happy to have a good time and try to teach you something. So if you see it, next time we're at the Bass Pro Shop, you know, you can ask me. This is Seth's favorite cove now because <laughs> <Right. laughs> i asked him I says, come on we don't have much time i go let's go somewhere where we could catch some fish where there's a lot of fish he goes well i'll take you to my one of my favorite coves and uh so you guys that fish the world a lot you're probably gonna recognize where this is at <laughs> probably i don't know if we give away too much but i'm sure there was stuff in the background these guys they always know where you're fishing oh yeah but uh 
It's it's loaded with fish. I mean, loaded. The lake's good and healthy, uh, and you know the water's stained up pretty well. Yeah. So the the deeper beds are harder to see, and I, I like that because you know it lets those fish have a good spawn. Yeah. And they can't. I mean, this place gets peppered with with people taking. It, it, that's a good note too. Also, you know, if you guys bed fish at home, uh, you know, please release the fish. Oh yeah. It's you know it's so crucial to have good genes in our lakes and that we can make sure that we can go out and we can have days like this you know and, right. and be able to go out and catch some fish and uh you know it's it's very important that during the spring you know catch those bed fish release them and uh you know take your picture and get that female back on her bed fast, fast yeah don't yeah. don't try not to let your fish flop around on the bottom of the boat either i mean when you get them yeah uh because they have a protective slime on them and that slime gets all over your carpet and then it it, it ha stands a better than 50 percent chance of dying that's crazy. I've had enough biologists from the Game of Fish when I used to do, you know, the shows, Good Old Boys in Arizona Wildlife Views with us, and they said that's one of the worst things we could do. So protect our resources, you know. You need to catch some fish. You need them. Keep the small ones. Keep the yeah. one, keep the one, one and a half pounders, you know, exactly. but not the three, four, and five pounders. Yeah, so. those are those are usually the females. The bigger fish are usually the females, and that's, right. you know, it's crucial. So we can have some, some fun days out here, catch big fish. Yeah. Have a blast and, and keep our you know our, our lakes healthy. Well, we definitely had a good time today. Definitely. So thanks again. We'll just call this the end of the show, and we'll see you on the next adventure with Fishing with Gary.